Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my daily video. I kind of feel like I haven't made one in a long time. I feel like I've been just making videos about other things. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share my progress with you guys. It's something I haven't done in a little while. And this is a project I've been working on for, for I guess, the last week or so. Um, I basically, I six-starred another Dark Sea Star. And I was planning to use that for, um, for farming Slumbering City. And I realized that I actually didn't, didn't need to do that because um, I was planning on using a 4 aggressor comp, basically 2 dark sea stars and 2 dark mihos. And the runs were pretty fast. It was about 2 minutes per run. But the problem was they um, it's only 2 minutes if... Well, it's about 1 minute and 40 seconds a run. But it's only um, it only gets that clear time if nobody dies throughout the whole stage. And they actually do, like sometimes, one or two times, um, someone does actually die. So there's there's a disadvantage there um, of using this comp. So I was trying to, I was, I was actually putting together some other comps. We're, we'll just try one run of this comp first. This is basically just my, the origi original plan of making a slumbering city comp. Um, the problem of why this is a little bit risky is because, um, I, I think, it doesn't even matter which type of aggressor I'm using. I can actually be using the, I can be using, um, you know, another Dark Miho or anything like that. If she gets armor broken, they all focus her. Even if she's an HP aggressor, she actually does, she she could die. But the chances of a defense aggressor dying are also actually a little bit higher. Now I would have raised my third Dark Miho, but I did not have enough Mihos to raise it to Evil Three. But once I ha once I collect enough Mihos to get that um, my third Dark Miho to Evil Three, I'll Evil Three her, and then I'll use three Dark Mihos and probably an HP lead, and it'll probably get me um, a little bit faster clear times. But uh, right now I think it's pretty good, like this. As long as they're able to get their their AOEs up, I will be able to kill the slimes relatively fast like this. Now there's another thing I can actually try which is um, if I can summon another Light Victoria I can run the I can run an HP or a defense lead um, possibly something like a Wood Banshee and the good thing about the Wood Banshee is she has morale boost and as well as an armor break so she can basically be spamming um, armor break for their AoEs and do more damage. But I don't think these monsters are strong enough to require the armor break to, to kill them with the AoEs. So it might possibly be a waste. Um, but there are, there are no like strong defense lead. Like I basically I need a defense lead that has some sort of maybe like predator or hunter on second skill. That can nuke the stage. And preferably fire because fire has elemental advantage. If I were to use water, the wood would have elemental advantage against the water. If I was to use wood, the the uh, the other one would have elemental advantage against that one as well. I could also use light and dark, but if I use light and I have no other light unit, or I could run four light actually. If I had like a, a light unit defense lead, and then um, run run like three three light Victorias, it might actually work. But that's, that's going to be a little bit harder to build. It's going to be much, much harder to get all three Light Victorias to Evil 3 versus just one more Dark Miho to Evil 3. So I think I'll temporarily go with the Dark Miho thing. Um, it's also going to be, you know, not not too bad for Arena. So, actually I forgot to see the, the run time, but it should be on, a, about two minutes or so. So we're going to try this again, and we're going to use a different comp. Um, this is actually the new comp that I, I kind of came up with. Um, while I was farming. So I was thinking of using an HP lead. This is the Fire Succubus that I, I gemmed up. If you were watching the collab video I did with Blonde Asuna, I've been using, I was using her um, for the arena fights, but I did not actually gem her up. I talked a little bit about, you know, actually gemming her up for, for, for slumbering city farming. So she's, right now she's, um, she stole my Dark Victoria gems. I'll probably give them back to my Dark Victoria during the weekend. I only use my Dark Victoria for Dragons B10. So during the weekdays, I can actually borrow these gems um, and farm Dragon Sigils. And then during the weekend, I can give it to my to my Dark Victoria to actually use those Dragon Sigils. So that's actually a pretty good um, pretty good setup. So she's attack, HP, crit rate, 100% crit 
on intuition set and she also has some relatively nice uh nice defensive sub stats on her her gens so there's actually not a very high chance of her dying the other good thing is she's also fire so she has that nice elemental advantage against the um against the wood monsters i think if i wanted to boost her attack up a lot more um i would put one more slot of uh attack or if if possible i, I would need to switch her over to like a, a ruin set but i don't have that many I don't have a strong enough ruin set to get her to 100% crit rate with, um, yeah, 100% crit rate, ruin, like attack, attack, crit rate, something like that. I think my C star might be a little in a little bit of danger. But I actually found that this this comp is a, a little bit better, um, mainly because of the elemental advantage from fire. It, it really depends on the the monsters that spawn. If it spawns a lot of the wood monsters, then I my succubus has elemental advantage and will do a lot of damage against them. The other good thing is she has that hundred percent armor break. Although these monsters have really really high resist, like their their resist is really insane. Like the monsters on Slumbering City, they have like like, it's like the light person dragons V10. If you if you want me to put it that way. So I think this definitely is a little bit more stable. Um, because of the HP lead and the HP lead also helps with damage because I'm using HP aggressors. So I think in order to take advantage of that, I need to get get one more HP aggressor and switch out this dark sea star. So I was thinking of using like three dark mihos. I think the sea stars will still be good. Like I don't regret raising them because eventually I'm going to need them for, um, for for PvP. Eventually, at one point, once I get my purse to like evil three. So th this was about two minutes as well. But this is a little bit more stable because the, if the other one, um, one monster dies at the beginning it becomes like a three minute run or something like that. So it's, it's a little bit risky, but this one, I haven't had anyone die before. So this is a pretty, pretty stable comp. Um, yeah, it's definitely not bad. So that's kind of something, one of the projects I've been working on farming slumbering city. And the reason why I'm farming like power farming, farming slumbering city is for the dragon sigils. I want to have, um, I want to get as many dragon sigils as possible. Currently have 18 only. Cause I, but I only started farming Slumbering City today, so, you know, it's it's rough. It's 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 not easy getting those dragon sigils. But um, but yeah, that's that's pretty good. I actually forgot to turn a lot of these off, turn off everything, turn off music, turn off sound effect. All right, there we go. Okay, let's let's do some summons. Let's do some summons, and then we'll we'll do some rebirths as well see if I can pull another light Victoria I don't really think I need one I like two might be enough but three won't hurt having another dark Victoria would be nice or another light hunter all right that was that was good fusion material that cocoa I also need one more wild thing in order to get my light wild thing to to evil three so I'm, so I'm still hunting for that last wild thing but i i almost have enough with soul stones so it, it won't even matter all right nice another fusion siren exactly what i need you know if i don't get too many things i need then I can use them for rebirth. So it's win win. Alright, I got another Cupid. I'm not too sure what to do with my extra Cupids. I might raise a Fire One in the future. Um, because the Fire One's actually really good for Titans. Because it has attack down and and uh, an attack up. It's basically like a budget Dark Venus that you can get for free. As long as you keep playing the game. I'm, I'm also hoping for more Leos because um, 
You know, I eventually do, for PvP, want to raise a Wood Leo. Because I do have him as a variant. So I can use, like, a Leo... Wood Leo HP lead. Like everybody does. Variant Beth. It's a sign of good luck. Okay, we're almost there. Not too lucky today. But but what what does it matter? I, I'm using them all for rebirth anyways. Th there was actually something pretty funny last video. Oh nice, I got a water Victoria. That's one less Victoria fusion I have to do. It's actually pretty perfect. I like it. Another Coco for four Victoria fusion, obviously. You know, I, I wish I could have gotten more Dark Medusas. They would be really nice to like just spam on all your Titan teams. Constant blind and uh Yeah, just constant blind and attack down. There was actually something pretty funny that um happened in one of my older older videos. Someone commented and told me that, hey, I thought you were keeping your your hunters, and I was like, Yes, they I did. I put them in storage. But then in the video, I actually used some of them for Rebirth. Like, I just did it instinctively. I wasn't even thinking about it. All right, my inventory's full, but we'll just re we'll just do one Rebirth. I don't really need the Shellys, but I could raise one. But if I needed one, I would just... I could just keep farming. It doesn't really matter. I can farm more. Like, I don't, I don't immediately need a... Sh I don't need a Shelly immediately. Let's pop these three eggs first, and then we'll just get into the... The rebirths. Dang, why couldn't it be like during the Medusa month? Where you only need to do 20 to get it guaranteed. I think 20 was... They thought 20 was too low. It's sad. They let us, let us taste have have a taste of that sweet sweet twenty guaranteed rebirth. And then cuck us right after. You know, I might actually like start using the hunters for rebirth to be honest. Because if I, if I really just want to reach like 30 twice, I will need to do that. And in the future, if I do like need to raise some some hunters and stuff, um, I can just get them from summons, you know. Man, the lightning rates are super low when I, whenever I rebirth, I feel like. Like some people get, um, you know, when they get to 30, they probably already got lightning like twice or something. A lot of times I go through all the way to 30 without without a single lightning. All right, I can't use the cocos. Can you can't use the seedlers? I can use the I can use the variants. Try to get a variant. I think this variant monkey's a low roll. I'm pretty sure it's a low roll. So even if it's a high roll, I don't I don't give a shit. Let's see if I can see if I can get a variant. Ah, no variant. So unlucky. Should I start feeding the hunters back into the hunters? I'll, I'll start doing it next video, I think. Oh wait, I can't use the Mihos. I can't use the Seedlers. I can only use these two. Oh, I got this... I got this Gator. Alright, we'll, we'll feed two hunters back. Just for one more, alright? Just for one more. Alright, no luck. But, um... We're closer to the 30 mark. We're past the halfway mark. I'm just going to have to keep summoning, keep capturing more monsters and using them for rebirth. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.